Inmates at the Madison County Jail will have the chance to be vaccinated for COVID-19 tomorrow. National Guard medical staff in the Alabama Department of Health will be giving the shots. Our Kelly Kennedy explains how it will work and why they're doing it now. As of today, only 10% of inmates here at the Madison County Jail have requested the COVID vaccine. Sheriff Kevin Turner says he hopes more people choose to get it and is asking family members to encourage inmates to be vaccinated. I understand it's their choice not to have it if they don't want it, if they do, whatever. But in their environment, especially if there is any chance that they have to go to the Department of Corrections, I think this is a good move to make sure they're safe in their travels ahead. Inmates will be offered the Johnson & Johnson or Moderna vaccine. They can choose which they prefer. Although COVID vaccines have been available to all adults in Alabama for nearly two months, the sheriff's office says they haven't been able to offer a vaccine clinic yet due to the large number of inmates in the jail. It's just timing and, and making sure if you've seen our facility, we have the largest, probably the largest under one roof facility in the state. I mean, we our county jail is larger than some prisons. There are over 1,000 inmates in the jail right now. Since the pandemic, 13 have tested positive for the virus. None have died. The sheriff's office says they are keeping their mitigation efforts in place for now, including masking, thorough cleaning, and 14-day quarantines when inmates are booked into the jail. Everybody in the jail stepped up, not only the chief and the captain, but the sergeants, the lieutenants, the DOs that work the facility, they have really taken you know, pride in what they're doing and trying to make sure everyone in that building is safe. Sheriff Turner says there are no repercussions if an inmate decides against getting the vaccine. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.